Hey guys, and welcome back. I have a little bit of a dilemma here. My hook fell out of my project and my bag. This is the square that I'm making to do some cross stitch on. It's actually more of a rectangle, but yeah, my hook fell out because there is no tip stop on it and just the hook on the other end. I know, Anna, why didn't you put the clips on it? Because I didn't think I would need to. But thankfully this is Tunisian crochet and this is super easy to fix. If this was knit, I would be in so much trouble. I would frog the entire project if it was knit. But thankfully, even if I can't pick up all the loops, I can pick most of them up and I don't have to frog the entire project. But I believe I should be able to get all of these put back on the hook and not have to worry about any frogging much at all. Goodness. So next time maybe I should put the little clips on the ends so that I don't have this happen again. Okay there. Got them all back on. So anyway, while we're at it, this is the square that I've been working on to do the cross stitch project. I haven't worked a whole lot on it. I've been doing other things, but I have, I think it's 36 rows to go. This marker, this stitch marker right here is halfway. So half of 36 is I don't know, half a six would be two, what is it? I don't know, I don't know, I'm not good with math. But anyway, this is halfway. <laughs> Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 and 18 is 36, there we go. So, halfway mark, I've started just a little bit more and that's where it's been sitting. So, yeah, I'm going to try and work on this some more so that I can get this finished. I've got 18, 17, I've got 15 rows to go, well 14 because this row's half done. But if I do put this back in my bag, I most definitely will do this because then I won't have that problem of losing my stitches. If you haven't seen my videos before, these are the little clippies that you can purchase at Dollar Tree. I do happen to still have the package in my bag here. They come in a package of six. These are the smaller ones. They do also have larger size, but those are kind of impractical for the use that I purchased them for. And what I do with them is I put them on the ends of my Tunisian crochet hooks, especially my double-ended hooks when I'm working on a project. When I put them in my bag to ex export, transport them to wherever I'm going, that way I don't lose any stitches. Well, except this time. And I I really didn't lose stitches. I just had to pick them back up and put them back on my hook. So anyway, that is my Tunisian Thursday for you. I'm going to work some more on this and try and get this done. I will, well, I can't actually show you the picture, you know, in the video, but I will try to put a little picture up there somewhere in the corner of what this is going to be cross stitched as. I showed it to you in my previous video. But this is what I'm working on and I am excited to try and get this finished so that I can start cross stitching on this project. So thank you guys for joining me and I will see you in my next video.